Welcome, this is Dr. Clay Hearn with Applied CAX, and today we will discuss data mapping in STAR CCM+. We will show how data mapping can be used to couple to a structural analysis, and how data mapping can be used to compare the results within the same model. Here we'll start off with a turbine that has a defined flow solution. And here we have the resultant pressure plotted on the blade. We would like to map this pressure to an FEA model for structural analysis. First, we need to import the mesh of the FEA model. We select our mesh data file and make sure that we have the unit set to the correct value for the mesh. We hit the OK button and see that we now have a new solid region and mesh definition that has been defined. We'll go back to our scene, turn on the displayer and apply the new surface so that we can see the imported TET mesh from FEMAP. We go back to our imported mesh and right click to map the surface data. Here, we want to select the appropriate source and target surfaces for mapping the pressure data, along with selecting the scalar value we wish to map, the pressure. Lastly, we want to review the neighbor constraints, turn them on as appropriate. Now we can see the map pressure data on the TET mesh to the right. Lastly, we need to export the map pressures to the FEA program. We right click on the imported mesh and select export map data. We will select our surfaces to export and select the field function data pressure. Also, we need to check the units for the exported values. Once that's complete, we select the file name and hit save to export. What if we want to compare solutions in STAR? We can also use data mapping for this purpose. Here we'll have our blade again with the pressure solution on the surface. First, we need to export the data. Here we select our region data that we want to export along with the solution fields that we want to export for a case of pressure again. We check that everything looks good and hit save to export. Now we'd like to run a second case with this model. We'll adjust the boundary conditions like increase the inlet velocity. We can also adjust the mesh size. and We'll do this by changing the base mesh size. Now we'll one click remesh the model, clear the results and rerun the solution. Now we have a new solution case and pressure for the turbine blade. To compare to the old solution, we'll go to File and import our mesh and solution data from the previous study. Here we'll see a new region has appeared with the mesh and solution from the imported case. Now we head down the navigation pane under Tools, find our data mapper, and right click for the new volume data mapper. For the source, we want to apply our imported region, set the stencil to cell, and set the scalar field function to imported pressure. For the target, we want to select the current region and again under the stencil to cell. Lastly, right click and select map data. We now have created a new field function called map imported pressure. To see the differences between cases, we'll create a new simple field function that displays the differences between the current solution and the mapped imported pressures from the previous case. Now we go to our scene and we can change the field function to mapped imported pressure to see our previous solution. And now we can change it to the new custom field function to evaluate the differences between the two solutions. And for more information on data mapping, you can always turn to the help file in STAR CCM+. You may also go to the Siemens Support website where you can find a number of articles on data mapping and examples for using data mapping. Thank you for your time and please look us up on AppliedCAX.com for more tips on STAR and other CAE products.